Okay, so everything that's going on, the government's talking about flattening the curve. Today I'm going to try and explain to you the difference between the lines that we use and how we can flatten the curve when we're fishing. So the basic three lines that are available to us as, as bass fishermen is, is normally braid, monofilament or fluorocarbon. But there's a difference between all of them and the basic stuff we know that braid has a very low stretch and it's much thinner and that's why the guys prefer to use it. Monofilament is, is used as a, as a basic sort of line for everything. Um, your carp fishermen, every, everyone likes the monofilament. The fluorocarbon has been always directed to the line as it doesn't reflect the sunlight. Um, and that's why it's good for clear water fishing or any bass fishing because the fish get up very close to it or whatever. But I'm going to give you a different angle today and explaining what these lines do when you're doing a finesse presentation or throwing a weightless, uh, weightless fluke or, or, or a stick bait of some sorts that you actually want to get into a target and have a better presentation when it comes to your line. So firstly, explaining something with line is the specific gravity of line. If water has a specific gravity of one, then you look at things like braid, which has a specific gravity of 1.05 up to 1.15. It differs from brand to brand, but it all stays more or less in the same sort of region. So if you're standing on your boat, and this is not art school, and I'm definitely not an artist, but I'm doing the basic thing here, just to explain to you what happens to your line when it hits the water and you're throwing a, a weightless bait at a target. So you're standing on the boat, your braid firstly goes into the water, and then it does this. Because it wants to float, the line is at a specific gravity of 1.05, water is at 1, this line wants to float. The problem with this is, as soon as you move your worm, which is down here somewhere, the first movement is up and back, and not at staying in the strike zone for, for long enough. When you're throwing monofilament, so let's make that braid, and when you're throwing monofilament, it does more or less the same thing, but the curve is better going down because you're sitting with a specific gravity of say 1.25 up to about 1.3. So once again, the curve is doing this, this is mono. So you're going to have a better pullback on the line, keeping it in the strike zone for a little bit longer. Um, and, and you'll have a better, a little bit better bait presentation. And this is where the curve changes now. When you're throwing fluorocarbon, and this is what bass fishermen, they love fluoro because it made the difference. The fish don't see the line and they don't um, know of it there because there's no visibility. It's actually something else that's combined with it. And that's the specific gravity of fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon sits at a specific at 1.7 to about 1.9, which makes your line almost double as heavy as the specific gravity of water. So your curve, when it comes to fluoro, starts changing now doing this. So when your worm is over here and you start retrieving up here on your boat or the bank or the jet or whatever you're standing on, this bait actually stays in the strike zone for so much longer before it starts going up in the direction of the boat again. Now all of a sudden I'm catching more fish because I'm using fluorocarbon. You're catching more fish because you're actually keeping your bait longer in that strike zone because you can drag it on the bottom because your line has a different specific gravity than with something like a mono or a braid would do. If you're using braid, throwing something with a heavy weight into thick cover where the weight actually pulls it vertically down, there's no stretch, that's what you're after, it works perfectly. If you're using mono, which on a crankbait, which you want to work the crankbait back to the boat and it takes the bite, uh, monofilament stretches quite nicely, so it stretches and doesn't tear the trebles, it works perfectly. But when you're presenting a worm, dragging it on the ground with what bite whatsoever, um, trying to get that presentation onto the ground, making a, a, a pull back onto the ground, fluorocarbon is definitely the way to go.